Hello, today is day three of week two and we are doing oats today. So with this recipe, um, you want to use oats that doesn't have salt because, uh, or no added salt um, or minimal salt as possible. We don't want to be adding any added sugars or salt to any baby's food. So what we're going to do is we're gonna pulse these oats. Uh, it's not necessary, but um, we're gonna do this since it's his first time trying oatmeal uh, into the pulser. And we're using a ratio of a one to two. So we're gonna do one fourth of a cup of oats, which he probably will not eat all these, but you know, hey, we'll save some for tomorrow. I'm gonna go ahead and pop these in. Put this on. got some hole in there and we got some pulse. Okay. We are going to add this to our pan. We're going to use half of a cup of whole milk and since he's already had the whole milk when he ate his yogurt last Friday for the allergenic foods, it is safe to use in the meals. Okay. We're going to pop this over onto our Cuisinart, set it at a medium temperature. All right, now that this is starting to bubble up some, I'm just going to give it a quick whisk. And I'm going to add about a quarter of a teaspoon, maybe a little bit less, of some cinnamon. Give that a quick whisk. You only need to let this bubble for about one to two minutes and it's done. And then once this is done with the one to two minutes, we're gonna set aside and let it completely cool down. Just gotta touch it first, don't you? Wanna try this one? You got the wrong end, man. Let's make it a tad less messy. There we go. Now that we've completed the 10 minutes of oatmeal, we're going to switch it out for five minutes a piece on the apples and the butternut squash that he had the previous days. Okay, we did five minutes of the butternut squash, so now we're gonna swap in and add the apples from Monday for five minutes. Now I did talk earlier about using whole milk in his oatmeal. You can also use breast milk or formula. <clears throat> um, and then with the oatmeal, I did one to two minutes for quick oats, and then you're gonna do a little bit longer for old-fashioned oats. Just make sure they're not too firm when, he, when they eat them, um, and still pass that squish test. Now that he's done with the second five minutes of his apples, we're gonna swap that in for the last five minutes of drinking milk from an open cup. <laughs> It's okay, man. Look, here, I'm going to pour you a little. Both hands. Good job. Good practice.